Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to How to Play FTB. How is it going? FTB Revelation. I should say the full name. I should say the full name. How is it going? How's everyone doing? Hope you are doing well. Hope you're having a good day. So last episode, we did this bad boy and it is still going. It is still full. Look at that. It's well... That is full. Um, it's not. It's not really making much RF at the moment because it's. Yeah, look at that. It's. It's almost. It's almost gone. Um, but that's fine. That that whole thing is completely full. So we are good. We are totally good. And um, our. You, it's obviously it's partially powering this now because I hooked it up to the energy cell and that is also linked to that. And this is well, actually, this is just linked to that, isn't it? I don't know what I'm talking about. No, that isn't powering this. It's the solar panel that is powering this. But and um, this is not even all that we've uh, we've got so far. I actually had to put another chest there. Look at all of this stuff. So you can see why getting one of these and just a good power generation going is incredibly important. But now. We're starting to get like a lot of stuff. We've obviously got all of these things. We've got all of that. We're going to want to start actually sorting out our storage because we want a better way of storing things. We want to be able to access everything that we own at the same time. So the mod that we are going to be using is Applied Energistics 2. Uh, and this is, it can be a scary mod and you can do some very, very complex things. Now we're not going to go over the complex stuff I'm going to keep it very basic, very simple. I'm going to show you how to set up a basic, what's called an ME system. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now. So the first thing you will need to do is um, make, or at least, well, it, it's up to you, but making a compass, uh, one of these, a meteorite compass, is one of the first things that you'll do, or you'll need to do. So iron ingot and a charge certus quartz. Uh, quartz crystal. Now, charged certus quartz is different from normal certus quartz. So, and that's what charged certus quartz you can see, uh, and that's normal quartz. Let's actually just have a look at the ores. They do look a little bit different. You should be able to tell the difference even just by looking at them. Uh, you can see that is a little bit brighter, and you can see this particle effect, particle effects coming up from there. Now, if we if we do that to both, there you go, that and that. Excellent, and you can see I've got some in my inventory already, and you can see there's a slight difference there as well. Now, in case you've you've struggled to find them, maybe you have, maybe you haven't got a, a mine set up quite yet, you can actually make these, um, the charge Certus Quartz crystals from a regular Certus Quartz crystals using a charger. Uh, from Applied Energistics 2. So you can basically shove your things in there, shove a crystal one at a time, and it will charge them, okay? But you don't have to. You don't have to do that. It's probably easier to just um, find it find it whilst you're mining or, you know, whilst, you're, whilst you've got your auto mine set up. So we're going to make one of these. Now, you'd, again, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this at all. But um, you should be able to see that it's pointing. Can you, can you see? It's pointing me in a direction. So if we were to follow this, um, we should... Oh, and it's it's freaking out a little bit. Um, it can get a little bit janky, but it should point us in the direction of a meteorite. Oh, is there one here? Usually when it, when it starts to do that, it means that there's one in this chunk. Ah! Now this is like an awful version, but can you see that sky stone there? That is actually a meteorite. Now I've got one over here, uh, which is a little bit better. So it will it will it will basically show you the nearest location of a meteorite. And now there you go. You can see it's latched onto the one that I've shown you, and you can see this is what they normally look like. So you don't need a compass. You can just fly around, and I would suggest that you have flight. Uh, when you do this because it's easier and you can see once we get near it it starts to spin around so and um, this is <laughs> this is what it looks like it looks crazy it looks bonkers uh, it's sort of ugly terrain generation but um but there it is so what you'll need to do you'll need to find the middle which i think this is the middle and then you will need to dig down so you need you definitely need let's um Let's turn that waypoint off. There we go. You'll definitely need a, a pickaxe that can go through obsidian. Okay, and one you need to go through. Keep going through, 
And until there you go, you find a sky stone chest. And inside you'll find some more sky stone, which you will need, and you'll find some of these <laughs> inscriber logic pre well pressers. You'll find pressers. And now that is amazing. I already had one. And I found the three others that I needed. So there are four in total. You might not get this lucky. Um, I already had one, and I can't believe I've just found the other three. So there are four in total, four different versions. So you will need to go out and find that. Now, obviously, if you're on a server, you can share those out between everyone. It just needs, you just, or you only need each of these once, okay? Grab yourself a load of Skystone as well, and then head back to base. So we are back here, we have some Skystone and we have four pressers, okay? So the next thing we will need to make is an inscriber. Now, first off, we in Revelation, we have another mod called AE2 Stuff, <laughs> okay? And that's an add-on mod to Applied Energistics 2 or AE2. Um, uh, and it just makes some things a little bit easier. So I will be using this because it will make our lives easier. But if you don't have it, then don't worry. You can just use the regular Applied Energistics 2 things. So we'll first make an Inscriber, as you can see, and then we'll make an Advanced Inscriber. So the Inscriber, you can see, we need some Iron, some Sticky Pistons, and this, Fluix Crystal, or Pure Fluix Crystal. Now, to make that, if we look here, <laughs> either a Fluix Block, or if you go to the Information tab, drop one Charge Surtis Quartz, one Nether Quartz, and one Redstone Dust into a puddle next to one another, and wait a moment to receive two Fluix Crystals. It's weird. It's weird. And there's a few more puddly things in this mod. So... So, we need some quartz, like that, uh, some redstone, and some charged surface quartz. Now, I'm not going to use all of it, um, because we will need some more for other stuff, but there we go. Let's get a puddle. We've got a puddle here. There you go. Let's chuck that in. Wait a second. There you go! And we get, and we get loads more back. Boom. We've now got 34, and you can see we've got an advancement. How lovely. How lovely. So I think, have I got... I've got two of these here. I need um, some of that. I need some wood. Have I got any? Not that much. There we go. Oh, no, I've actually got a piston in my inventory. Of course I have. Of course I have. So we need one more of these. I need... <laughs> of course, I need some iron. There we go. There we go. Right. Let's make... Let's make our inscriber. There we go, two pistons, and we need some more iron. There we go, lovely stuff. Bam, and we have an inscriber. There we go. There we go, that wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad. You can see, if you put that down, it. you can see at the top, it needs AE um, to, to work. And now AE, I think, last time I checked, should basically work with this does it does it is it going to work i don't know actually it might not um ah there's n there's no power there for for whatever reason let's put it let's just check put it there there you go you can see it's now fully charged so let me put this somewhere a little bit better Right, I have the inscriber set up here, and you can see this is what it looks like inside. These are where you put upgrades right there, and this is where the main stuff happens, okay? And you can basically, you can put any of these in to make different things. This is how this inscriber works. So, for instance, we want the advanced uh, inscriber, and we need two engineering processors, okay? And that is how they are made. Well, how do you make these? That is a very good question. So, printed silicon we can get from using the Inscriber Silicon Press and some silicon. And silicon is just quartz, uh, surface quartz dust smelted up, okay? Uh, I don't know if you can, ah, you can also, in this mod pack at least, use the manufactory uh, from Nuclear Craft, which actually looks pretty good because you can just use sand, which is infinitely cheaper uh, than surface quartz dust. So, uh, let's make some of that. I've got some silicon here, there we go. So, we put, the silicon in there and now you can see why this is slightly annoying and then we put that in there and now it does it now i can't this only holds one at a time only holds one at a time 
There we go, and we've got one. So I can only shift one in to each time. Now you can, you can of course use pipes and hoppers um, to get to input and output everything. So a lot of people make four inscribers, one for each of the presses, uh, and you can even make more than that because certain presses are used for different things. Um, and this is where the advanced inscriber starts to become a little bit better because it's a little bit more automatable. So we also need a printed engineering um, circuit. So we need to use the inscriber engineering press. Okay, so I think I've got some diamonds here. There we go. Let's oh, actually let's use let's let's make two because we need two. Um, so that, and there we go. Uh, which one is, wow, my inventory is full. Is that the en engineering one? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There we go. Let us, let's just put a few of these things away. There we go. And you can see, ooh, you can see that there is an animation, which is pretty, pretty nice. Let's, uh, let's have a look at that in action. Come on, do your thing. There you go. And you can see it prints it out, which is, uh, and really quite nice. So lastly, we're not done. We are not done. Uh, where are we? Lastly, you can see again, you'll need another inscriber to actually put these two together using some redstone. So we put some redstone in there. <laughs> and of course, it just it just does one at a time. There we go. And that will, again, merge everything together. Just smush it together to make one of these, an engineering and processor so let's do one more of those let's do that do that together and then what else do we need we need some hoppers and some iron there we go so some hoppers uh, which we need chests for do i have some chests any chests doesn't look like it um i i got that i got i got enough no i don't no i don't <laughs> oh dear there we go there we go. Um, where are you? Where are you? Let's make some chests quickly. Bam. I should have. I should have enough to make two of those. There we go. Lovely stuff. And then, yeah. And then I just need the inscriber itself. So, got another one of these. Excellent. Let's make an advanced inscriber. And there you go. Boom. Bam. Bam. Done. Excellent. Let's hook you back up. And there you go. And this basically now, um, if we have I got silicon? Yeah, I've still got some silicon. So if we put the where is it? Silicon press. There we go. Put that there. And you can see now we can put a stack in there. Which this is why A2 is a uh, is A2 stuff, I should say, is so much better. Locked can't be removed with automation. Unlocked can be see all that stuff. Now it is not doing stuff. Um ah, now then. Now then, can I not hook this up to normal power? Ah ha ha. So that is not as good as we wanted. So onwards to our next thing then, because apparently we can't use this. So an ME system, an ME system. First thing that we need, if we look at the applied energistics, these are the things that you'll need to set up a basic, a very basic ME system. Um, we will need an ME controller. And you can see we need skystone blocks. That's why you need we need another engineering processor, and we need some pure fluid crystals. Now these are the other puddle type thing that we will need. And we'll come to back to that in a second. We need an ME drive, which is not too bad. A glass cable, using some fluid crystal and some quartz fiber. So that is just any type of crushed quartz or pulverized quartz and some glass. Not too bad, not too bad, and that's where we'll put our. Um, that's where we'll put all of these in our storage cells, and these are basically like hard drives, uh, and they will digitally store um, items like here. Basically, that's that's sort of how it works. So these are, those are two things that we will need, and then we will also need. Um, where are you? We'll also need a crafting terminal. Okay. So these are the things that we need to get towards. So not just an ME terminal, we want a, a ME crafting terminal. And that's because you want to actually be able to use this system to craft items with. Okay, so go ahead and make these things and I'm gonna figure out how we get this one working again. I, I, I pretty much know, but I just wanna check. So very quickly, I've made an energy acceptor using some quartz glass, which is uh, 
just quartz <laughs> some crushed quartz and some glass not too hard uh, so we're just gonna do that there we go and if we if I take that off and put that there there we go we've got this working and you can see it is doing stuff so some things um, A2 is a little bit weird about power you need to have another A2 block just interfacing and the energy acceptor is one of those things and you can see we are now getting printed silicon quite happily and quite easily now the next thing we will need is the pure fluix crystal okay and uh, to get that you need to drop a fluix seed made from fluix dust and sand into a puddle of water to make the process faster add crystal growth accelerators so this is where again it starts to get a little bit daft and silly using puddles but there we go that's what we need so made from fluix dust and sand okay so you need to get one of your fluix crystals like that you need to just shove it into a pulverizer there we go I like that we got some sand there we go then put them in the crafting table or a crafting grid and you will get there you go two fluid seas this item won't despawn so what you do what you do is you just drop it in like that and you just you just leave it you wait you wait and wait and wait and then you wait some more okay so I'm gonna see I don't know if this will have even gone up anything and that's why it says this item won't despawn so you don't have to worry about it and it will take longer than the five minutes it takes for items to despawn but if we look at this now uh, it's still wow it's still at zero percent okay so fine let's just chuck them in and let's leave them let's see what <laughs> just how long that takes I can't remember it's been too long now it said about growth um, accelerators so let's have a look we have two in the pack. We have the normal ones, crystal growth accelerators from um, Applied Energy 62, and then we have the crystal growth chamber from A2 Stuff, and that is made from four of these. Now I'm going to be building this. Now, if we were to use the crystal growth accelerators, what we would do is we'd put four, um, we'd put four all around a, a puddle. So we do four crystal growth uh, accelerators and a puddle of water there okay and these you would have to uh, part power using the glass cable from applied energistics 2 and just make sure it's hooked up to one of these energy acceptors uh, and that will power all of these four crystal growth chambers now obviously you have to attach each one of those with the glass cable to get it to work and that's how you power those and that will basically work a lot faster using those it's basically impossible to do without and it's still at zero wow wow so i'm going to leave those for a little bit longer so i'm going to make the advanced uh, the crystal growth chamber and uh, then we'll i'll show you basically how much quite faster that is there we go we have the crystal growth chamber lovely stuff so i'm going to put this next to that and you can see that immediately lights up excellent um crystal growth chamber and wow this looks uh, this looks pretty nice so let's go and have a look at these seeds <laughs> still at zero percent so it takes a long time so if we chuck these in here and there you go you can see now how much faster that is you can see that basically going up at a fair rate and you can see they actually get bigger uh, as they go on which is i think a really nice little touch so a2 stuff is definitely if you have that in your pack you should definitely be using it otherwise it it's a little bit more grindy but uh there we go so i think we're gonna have to make another couple of these because i think we need four of these for the me controller there you go and then we have pure fluids crystals how lovely I've been busy and I set up a little charging station. I needed a lot more of the normal Fluix crystals so I could make some of the pure Fluix crystal. Um, and basically what this does, that goes in there and you can see it starts to charge up and I've got a server here with a charged Surtis Quartz crystal there in the whitelist and that then just pops it out into there. It's a very simple thing, but you need something to get it out of, otherwise, I think it'll just keep going but uh so that's an easy enough little setup to do and um, I've also made some engineer uh, no nope, here these calculation uh, processors and if we look at the recipe you need pure certus quartz crystal and this is basically the same as the pure 
um, fluix crystal. Look at the recipe. You need a certus quartz seed made from certus quartz dust and sand in a puddle of water or a crystal growth chamber. So there you go. That's how I did that. So we have some stuff now. We should be able to make an ME controller. So that's from Skystone Block, which if you smelt the normal Skystone, that's what you'll get. Very, very simple. We can make one of these lovely stuff. We need an ME drive. There we go. We should be able to make one of those. That is exciting. And that is very exciting. How far are we on being able to make a crafting terminal? Got another one of these. We need an ME terminal. There we are. We need a logic processor and a panel, uh, which is that. Can I make any of that? I don't have... I should have that, yes. And I should have... Have I got glowstone anywhere? Um, I've got... I've got normal glowstone, but have I got... No, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Let's come over here. Let's pulverize some of you just to get... Uh, I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way, but you, I think you always get four with this if you pulverize stuff. There we go. That that should do us. And what do, did we need more? More of that, perhaps? Uh, my inventory is totally full. Let's... There we go. That's a little bit better. I've got some of that as well. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. So, crafting terminal. We need uh, we need some of those. Let's concentrate on this first. So, illuminated panel. Excellent. We've got that. Um, we need. Nope. We need. We need a logic processor. That so that's gold and an, a logic press. Okay, we can totally do that. We can totally do that. Uh, so gold there and logic press lovely stuff and you can see why you might want a fair few of these just to make you know make different things at different times uh printed silicon there we go come on bam and this all all of this will be worth it we need some of that as well i believe phew okay crafting terminal emmy terminal we need an annihilation core uh, I don't have any quartz. Man, oh man. Let's... What can I get rid of right now? These can be... Yeah, we can put one of those in there. Uh, that's about it almost. Wow. Um, a few of those. Right. Crafting terminal. ME terminal. What's this one? That needs normal Certus Quartz. Okay. Ah, and we need... <laughs> we need another... We need another gold. We need another gold bit. Let's do that as well then. Um, logic press was that? Yep. Bam. Have I got any more space in here? I totally don't. But I've got some cobble. There we go. Let's get you out. <laughs> um, right, we've got you. Bam. You. You. There we go. And we need the normal Certus Squats as well. Uh, yep. There we go. Okay, we should have... Man, this this will be worth it, I promise. I promise this will be worth it once we get everything uh, fixed up. So, um, ME terminal, we need one of these. There we go, you get two, and I'm going to be full again. Let's put that in there. And then we need formation core, bam, lovely stuff. We need that now. I, I do... Oh do, oh, do I need even more? Okay, let me just quickly make this. Emmy crafting table. I'm almost there. There we go. Man, crafting upon crafting. Right, okay, so that is done. Now, we need some storage cells, okay? And these are the basically the hard drives that go into the Emmy drive. Now, the way these work, you can see 0 out of 1024 bytes used, 0 out of 63 types. So all of these are zero. Oh, uh, all of these are zero out of sixty-three types. That means that you can store sixty-three different types of item. Okay, and that is it. That is it. But you can see each of these has a different um, byte, um, uh, like allocation of bytes, basically. So 1K, 4K, 16, and 64K. And that is how much data it can store. So not how many items, but how 
I mean, <laughs> sort of. It's in conjunction with the amount of type. OK, so if that makes sense. So obviously, 64K can store more uh, than 1K, but it can't store more types, if that makes sense. So really, it's more in your interest to kind of go for the middle ground. Even 1K, a lot of 1Ks are fine, especially if, as we are, we're going to combine it with our storage system, our storage draw system. Um, so if hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know and I'll try and explain it again. Um, but basically, you, you want to go for the middle ground because even though that gives you a lot more storage, you still only got zero out. Well, you still, still can only store up to 63 types of item. So you, you sort of want to go for the middle ground. So we're going to make some 4K. Uh, I always like to go for 4K. So you can see quartz, glass, redstone and iron. That's not too bad. Uh, and then we need one of these. And you can see that's a calculation processor and a 1K storage component. And you can see how this sort of starts to stack up. OK, so basically I'm going to make a few of these now and then we'll, we'll basically put it all together. We are also close to getting this done now. I finally have two of these 4K uh, ME storage cells. So first of all, we're going to put the ME controller down. You can see as soon as you put this down, it starts flashing uh, very excitedly. So this is sort of like the um, this energy acceptor. Uh, basically, that will convert all of the power to uh, the applied energistics to power KAE, but the, the ratio between RF and KAE is exactly the same. So you don't have to worry about that too much. And then we can put an ME drive down. Uh, then we can get our two things like that. And uh, we can plonk those in there. There we go. And you can see now those are green. I like that. Also very exciting. And the last thing we need to do is that a crafting terminal. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Uh, we can do that. Uh, you need to stick some uh, glass cable on there like that and then stick the crafting terminal on there like that and there you go we have we have an ME system and now you can immediately I can start storing stuff in there and look at that how lovely is that and then you can see we have a crafting terminal there which is why I wanted a crafting terminal and uh, that's because we can make things in here as well and it can pull things from anything in here. Now, the last thing that we need to do is hook up all of our stuff because we've got a lot of stuff in chest and all of this I can, you know, I can end up putting in here. That's fine. Um, but I want to use all of these things still as they are. And the way we use that is we need an export bus. Um, there we go. Very tiny export bus. So we need another core and a little bit of that and that's not too bad that is not too bad so i'm going to make one of these quickly scrap what i said i was thinking about something different we need a storage bus not an export um bus so an export bus obviously exports things um from your system to an outside and import one imports from outside to into your me system we need an me storage bus that is made with an me interface which is that not too bad there we go and then sticky piston and a regular piston there we go let's make that quickly there we go storage bus boom there we go and you need some glass cable and basically, now remember, remember that the uh, draw controller is the heart and the brains of the storage system. So we only need to hook it up to this to see everything that this is connected to. So if I wanted to see what was in this, I would have to have a separate storage bus just on this chest there. But I, I don't. I just need that one. Then we're going to run it all the way along like that. Lovely. Um, can, I, can I get past? No. Yes, just about. And if you remember, our initial grindstone that we, we used to make things is also from Applied Energistics. There we go. That's a nice little thing. There we go. We should now see. There we go. We can see everything. And this is, I'm guessing, am I running out of power? Just about. Just about. It's okay. Device online. And there you go. You can see. It's not, it doesn't look much, does it? But all of that is now within here and you can see 
The amazing thing is with this, because of the um, compacting draws, it sees both the fact that we have 34 blocks of iron and 313 iron ingots and then 2,000, what is it, 815 iron nuggets. That is all all here. You can see. Look at that. Um, there, there, there. Uh, and this works basically the same way as most things. So what I normally do is... I synchronize it with JEI, okay? So, there we go. Uh, is that the one that we want auto keep standard? There we go. So, if I look for iron, it should. Are you not doing it? Auto search. I want, right, so iron, obviously, it will give me that, but I want to sync it to JEI because that's, you know, that's better. That is better. At least I prefer it. That's how I usually do it. It's been a while since I've done this. Also, you can um, you can make this bigger or smaller depending on what you can change the sorting order um, of of everything. Uh, if I take all of that out, let's let's do that. There we go. Just so we can see, you can see toggle sorting order. Uh, you can view stored items now. Craftable. That is basically. You can start auto crafting certain things, but we'll get into that at a later time. And then sort by uh, number of items. I quite like number of items uh, by mod. You can and then by item name as well. It's completely up to you. Um, now, if I if I do this, there we go. There it is. So it is the synchronized auto, and you can see I search for iron, but it also syncs up with JEI here, and that is a very easy way of doing it. Now, say for instance, I wanted to craft. Um, Let's see. Uh, no, what shall we do? Ah, may, maybe an some something iron an iron tool. Um, what could we use? What could we use? Um, ah, let let's just do some boots. So, rather than rather than having to get the items out and then you know basically doing a bit of this and and making it. And by the way. If you want to get a stack out, uh, you just click on it. If you want to get a single item, you um, well, I've been using shift and then my mouse button, just the, the scroll wheel. And you can see I'm just scrolling there and that is doing that. So you can I'm sort of doing that. And again, right clicking will get you half a stack like usual as well. But anyway, rather than getting the items that you need, uh, you can just click that click that and there you go look at that we can now basically make things from within using all of our stuff and it is lovely it is a lovely thing to behold uh, and here you can see now one out of 63 types 33 of 4096 bytes used. so you can obviously fill this up you can add more me drives as long as you have the power uh, you are fine and you just need to make sure that um, this is powered to power everything else, okay? So that is a very, very, very basic system, but it should be enough. <gasps> We've got a dog. It should be enough to just... Um, have I got any bone? I don't think I do, actually. Uh, no, I've got no bones. No bones. Oh, no, I do. I do. I'm getting, I'm getting totally distracted. I want a dog. I want a dog. Come on, there we go. <laughs> um, this is a very, the most basic ME system that you can do, but what it will do, and especially if you use storage drawers, um, it just makes everything a lot simpler. You don't have to make too many drives yourself. You can keep everything up here, and obviously you can upgrade these as you go along as well, or you can just make loads of ME drives and store everything digitally, which is quite lovely to do as well. So there we have it, a very, very simple ME system. I hope that's helped. I hope uh, that will help you make one of these yourself. It is not too bad once you get started uh, and is definitely worth doing. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, a like or comment is always very much appreciated. And of course, make sure to subscribe if that's your kind of thing. Um, any questions, feel free to ask. I've been Actor. This has been How to Play FTB Revelation. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.